Dave, a good night and a difficult night last night with the decisions made on the under-16s. Yeah, um, we were able to offer some scholarships last night to, to lads. Uh, we, we offered uh, two scholarships last night and we previously offered three. Um, and like you say, it's difficult for the lads that have, uh, we've had to release as well. Obviously, some of them have been with us since they were eight, and you know, so it's a really difficult night for them. So, you know, uh, my heart goes out to them, and uh, we'll, we will help them try and get fixed up and pick the pieces up as we always do. But, um, you know, congratulations to the lads that have been successful, and uh, just commiserations to the lads that didn't quite get, you know, get an opportunity. Just on the lads who do go, is there an understanding from them when you go through the process? and? And explain why. Uh, oh yeah, we had Alan and I had uh, meetings with the players and the parents last night, and uh, you know we sort of explained our reasons why you know we didn't take them at that point. And uh, to be fair, they're obviously really disappointed, but you know sort of they, they understood the reasons, and uh, we'll just try and help them pick the pieces up now. We'll talk about the five lads who will join the the under eighteen academy set up in a minute, but. For another five on top of the six last year, things are really starting to kick in for the for as it used to be the centre of excellence. What yeah. is now the, the academy? Yeah, um, it's nice to recruit the lads that have been with us for a while. You know, especially if the local lads as well. It, it's uh, that's a really good thing. You know, they've worked hard throughout the years, and then they, they get that there's a, there is a reward at the end of it them getting a scholarship. So you know, the more we can get from our own academy that are local, you know, that's that would be. You know, that's a key thing for us if we, we can do that. Look at it.